my god! <laughs> my guy, how'd you do this? Hey folks, Nathan here. Now I want you to think about bucket list moments. Like what's that one thing you wanna do before you die? Maybe it's climb a mountain. Maybe it's bike across the country. Well, for me, it was to make a movie and you can check out the trailer down in the description after this video, of course, because well, we actually did it. Like an actual movie with actors, crew, my name on the friggin' poster. But here's the thing. We kind of ran out of money during post-production and I had to color it. But we have $100 left. So I thought it'd be fun to go onto Fiverr, not a sponsor, and see what type of color work we can get done on the cheap. And then compare it to the official trailer to see if I can keep on doing color grading tutorials or if I need to get kicked off YouTube forever. Let's see what we can find for color grading. They'll do editing, correction, and color grading, $6. Well, I gotta try that out. To five minutes of video and one day delivery. Holy smokes. I will do professional video color grade, make custom video LUT. And they're going to developing color grading video two LUTs and, oh, well that's, that's it. And nothing, okay. <laughs> and for our last one, we'll go with add weights 738. Okay, let's see their trailer here. Oh, I've seen this footage before. <laughs> Okay. Ha. This is actually from DaVinci Resolve's training, which is excellent and I recommend that you take, so I'll be interested to see their skills. <laughs> They've also taken Kazi's course. Okay, good to know. <laughs> this is Kazi, welcome back to another epic video. I have one question, is the video edited? I say yes. Now to make it a fair competition, everyone received the exact same Dropbox link and notes. There's also an ungraded reference trailer so they can get the timing dialed in. And I've included an XML and EDL file so they can easily import the timeline into their software of choice. So the final render just came in and I actually haven't looked at any of these at all. I just approved them blindly. So technically it's kind of like a first draft. Let's check it out. First off with our $6 color grade, I will note he took the longest out of everyone, but he also charged the least. So we'll see if we get what we pay for here with our $6. Oh, nice, yeah, okay. Really bright in the car, oh. That's a tough shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh no. I don't know where Adeline's life yeah. began. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, good job with the clouds. Oh my happened. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on here. Looking at this shot here, I'm wondering if they actually figured out how to get the XML working or if they just graded the reference trailer that I had sent over and just skipped everything else. Because if you just graded that trailer, you wouldn't have access to the actual raw files. Yeah, you know what, looking at this, okay. Looking at that banding, even if you look at this grass here, it's totally falling apart. That's what they did. That's kind of what you get for $6, right? You, they may not actually know how to import an XML file or they may not put in the time to learn those sorts of things because they're only charging $6 for the whole project. So $13, let's see what we get. In all honesty, this is my second time watching it. I had to render in place because it wasn't playing back properly. So let's see what we do here. Oh, you know what? No, it was playing back just fine. This is the actual footage. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Spooky looking. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Really washed out. This looks better. I don't know where Adeline's life right. began. Oh my. Okay. I only know how it ended. Oh no. <laughs> 
so dark. Okay, so that was better. Um, I know that they figured out the XML because some of these shots aren't flipped properly according to what the reference trailer is. Whenever you're calling a project, always try to fit that reference so you may have to do some reframing and flip stuff around because it's, well, it's what they want, right? It looks not too bad. I really like this stuff of the girl. She's got really yellow skin. That's kind of wild. Let me just see, where are we even sitting there? Yeah, that is some yellow skin, my dude. You don't always need to hit the skin line. I'm just trying to figure out why it's so yellow. It's like a Simpsons character. In his defense, I never looked at any of these videos. I wanted to give you the true and honest raw reaction. So if I did look at it, I would definitely tell them to address this. So overall, this is a pretty good effort. I can tell that they got the XML file working, which is great. For $13, I gotta say, I definitely got my money's worth out of that. On to our $23 spender. Let's see what we got. Oh, starting off, this is nice. A little bit blown out. I like it though. Yeah, it looks good. Whoa, Crunch City. Oh my, okay. Yeah, right. Wow, really contrasty. Yeah. Mm. I don't know where Adeline's life began. That's a tough shot. Okay, they went really bleak with it. I like this. Really desaturated. I only know how it ended. Wait a second, <laughs> this is way longer than the other trailers. Yeah, the sound didn't sync up at all. Let me just see something here. Okay, what the heck? My guy, how'd you do this? I know what they did. When I was talking to them back and forth, they said that the XML link was broken on Premiere Pro, which it's not, check it out. You go down to imports and then you just find your XML file. It works the same on Premiere and Resolve, same process. And then you gotta link up your media. So you just find that in your file explorer and boom, your entire timeline is there and ready to edit. On Premiere, I did have to do some resizing on the timelines, but they both worked easy peasy. When I exported and I put an extra second on each side of the in and out of every clip. So what they did was they just brought in the entire clips, assuming that's what I wanted. So if they had set up the timeline with an XML correctly, I think they would have saved themselves a lot of time. So anyway, let's check out our last big spender at just around $40. Let's see how they did. So this looks nice. Look what they did. Huh. Okay, round two, we've rendered it in place. Let's see if that fixes the issues. And now it's still there. Okay, we got a total slideshow going on. And if I try and scrub through frame by frame, we get nothing. Yeah, that's just the actual clip. Uh, that's unfortunate. So anyway, second person to run into that issue. You gotta check your stuff, guys. It's looking nice though. Oh, really heavy film grain. I like it. Oh, that's good. Really bright. I don't know where Adeline's life began. It's nice. Yeah. It's saturated. Whoa, mm. whoa, whoa! What's going on here? <laughs> My guy, come on. <laughs> I like it, some creative license I don't know there. How it ended. Okay, whoa. Spooky. So yeah, I, I like the way they did this last shot. Bump that gain up a little bit and yeah, it looks better. It's it's really creepy looking. I really like this shot, what they did. I mean, you know, it's a tight of a face. It's always gonna look good. There's some type of qualifying going on on the skin, I believe. Um, but yeah, I, I like the film grain that they've added on to everything. I know that shot matching may be out of the scope for this price point but we are coming in very bright. So we're coming in at like 238, 211, and 150. But now when we come in here, we're coming in quite a bit darker, which is just something to kind of note. So all in all, I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, he did what I asked for. 
um, which is great. They added a nice film grain effect, which I did like on the project. And they tried to fit into that dark and spooky vibe. Which one was your favorite? And how do you think everyone did? Personally, I think they did a great job given the fact that it was really kind of like a first draft. I just approved it immediately without giving them any feedback. And the second reason is the price. Even at our highest end in this video of $40, that's nowhere near what it should actually cost to have a trailer professionally color graded. Because I'm certain every single person I hired in this video could have done a great job if they actually charged a fair wage for themselves. So they take the time to focus on their skills and actually be able to prioritize the project so they can watch the render before they ship it out to the client and make sure there's no issues in it or make sure it actually matches the reference video. So what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to value your time as an artist because ultimately you get to make better work. Check out my trailer for The Wraith of Rustico Vale, the movie I was so lucky to get to produce and see how I compared to the folks that we hired today. Do I need to get kicked off of YouTube forever or can I keep making color grading tutorials? Only you can decide that one. Okay, bye.